Whataburger or in and out Please, bro. Please. Whataburger, as the name suggests, specializes in producing juicy and tasty burgers for its many customers. The company was founded by Paul Burton and Harmon Dobson way back in 1950. These days, it's still in the hands of the Dobson family, plus 25 franchise owners. Over 800 Whataburger restaurants are open for business in southwestern and southeastern parts of America. Pretty smart. This fast food chain's not only known for its burgers, but their restaurants feature unique roofs with white and orange stripes. Now it's time to bite into 10 10 untold truths about Whataburger. That's what we call a sack lunch. Nom, 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 nom. The secret menu at Whataburger. Can I get a kid's meal? I don't see no kids. Secret menus are a fast food craze these days. Fast food fans love to order off of the typical menu. When you indulge in the secret menu at Whataburger, you'll be able to enjoy some exciting novelty items that you've never had the opportunity to try before. One example is the Whataburger Hulk. <laughs> This beverage is so popular that people sing its praises on social media. This drink is as green as a certain muscle-bound superhero, and it's made by combining Powerade and Vault Soda with ice. While you can easily whip up your own version of the Whataburger Hulk at home, just by picking up the ingredients at a convenience store, it'll be more fun to try this frosty drink at Whataburger. Prepare for a green tongue, though. That's to my brain now. It's a harmless side effect of sampling this Whataburger secret menu item. Another fun choice is a grilled cheese sandwich. It's not on the regular menu, but most Whataburger servers will be more than happy to provide you with this crunchy, gooey sandwich. Lots of people love secret menu grilled cheese sandwiches from Whataburger. They love the crispy toast and creamy American cheese. They also love the affordable price, because customers get charged for the toast and the cheese, and these items aren't very expensive. If you want a grilled cheese at Whataburger, just ask your server for one. It's usually it's usually that easy to get this sandwich off of the secret menu. If you've got a hearty appetite, consider ordering pancakes and chicken off of the secret menu. It's a delicious alternative to classic chicken and waffles. Did you know Holland invented chicken and waffles? If you want pancakes with chicken, you'll need to place your order between 11 at night and 11 in the morning. This is the time frame when Whataburger Restaurants offers pancakes to its valued clientele. To get this item, you'll need to order pancakes plus a biscuit sandwich with chicken strips. Then you need to set the biscuit aside and wrap your fried chicken strip with your pancake. Add lots of syrup and enjoy. I love maple syrup. I love maple syrup on pancakes. I love it on pizza. Whataburger cookies have traveled to space. I want 10 chocolate chip cookies, all right? Medium chips, none too close to the outside. If you want taste that's out of this world, you'll be pleased to know that Whataburger cookies have actually been in space. The Columbia Space Shuttle crew requested cookies from this fast food chain for their space mission in summer of 1999. Today, customers can choose from a couple of yummy cookie types off of the fast food chain's delightful dessert menu. These options are sugar cookies and chocolate chunk cookies, both of which retail for just under $1 each. Take your hat off, boy, that's a dollar bill! If these cookies are good enough for astronauts, they'll be good enough for your dessert, too. Whataburger also offers cinnamon rolls to its customers, along with fruit chews, hot apple pies, and lemon pies. Is this list of Whataburger dessert menu items making you hungry? If it is, be sure to treat yourself to some dessert items from this popular American eatery soon. Once you've tried Whataburger cookies, you'll see why they were the preferred cookies of hungry NASA astronauts. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Employees compete in What a Games cooking competitions. Let the games begin! Hey <laughs> Whataburger management keeps morale high by doing one unique team building exercise on a biannual basis. It's all about friendly competition, and it's called the What a Games. That sounds like the opposite of the Hunger Games, doesn't it? This competition happens in a kitchen, and it's held every other year. The competitions last for three days apiece, and they bring Whataburger staff members together to see which employees are able to offer the most impressive customer service, in keeping with the company's values. This restaurant promises that hot food will be served hot, and that cold food will be served cold. It also promises customers that they will see smiling faces as they are served. In the Whata Games, the company's family members, as they are called in Whataburger's corporate lingo, compete for five grand of cold, hot hard cash. It's possible to win lower cash amounts too, such as 2500 bucks or 1000 bucks. During the games, the company closes a Whataburger fast food joint and then brings in guests who aren't typical guests. The guests are fake. These guests order food and then grade the family members on how well they deliver on customer service. It's time to answer the call. They also rate the employees based on how friendly they are. This competition dates back to 1996. It started as a training exercise and then gained 
momentum. The Whata Games are just one more reason why Whataburger stands out from its competitors. By offering its staff members the chance to compete for lucrative cash prizes, it motivates its team. We are here to do a job, not channel Scrooge McDuck. Guns aren't allowed at this fast food chain. Calm down, everybody. Sit down. Sit down over there. Trips to Whataburger fast food joints are part of Texas tradition, but Whataburger VIPs decided in 2015 that those who were open carrying guns would not be permitted in their restaurants. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> this new edict from Whataburger upper management happened in response to the open carry law that went through in the Texas legislature. Governor Greg Abbott signed the open carry rule into law during the 84th meeting of the legislature. People who who are clearly armed are not permitted to enter 24-hour Whataburger restaurants, even though they are lawfully open carrying guns, according to the 2015 Lone Star Law. It's not that Whataburger is anti-gun, according to its president, Preston Atkinson. The CEO of Whataburger does own guns. He hunts and has a license to carry a concealed weapon. It's about meeting the needs of customers of all kinds. Whataburger is a place for families. Yeah! It welcomes so many young people, from students to church group members and beyond. The no open carry rule at Whataburger is about maintaining an atmosphere that is totally non-threatening. It's about making kids, families, and everyone feel completely safe at the burger restaurant. I mean, everybody I know in Texas likes Whataburger. Flotus dined at Whataburger. Yeah, they did stop at a Whataburger, and in fact, the first lady went there to fill up. The Flotus, Melania Trump, visited Whataburger, and so did Mike Pence's wife. Of course, Donald Trump is a fast food fan. We have pizzas, we have 300 hamburgers, many, many french fries. McDonald's is his fave. Melania doesn't have the reputation for loving fast food. Melania has said in interviews that she's a healthy eater in general, who tries to consume plenty of fruits and vegetables every day. Apparently, she enjoyed a cheat day at Whataburger during 2017. She visited Whataburger with the second lady, Karen Pence, during a visit to Texas. The ladies were in the Lone Star State to meet people who were impacted by Hurricane Harvey. According to a rep for Whataburger, the first lady and second lady enjoyed lunch at a corporate Christy Whataburger. The rep expressed gratitude to the first and second ladies for their assistance to Hurricane Harvey's victims. They really got in there, got their hands dirty with us. It was amazing to see them do that. No word on what these VIPs ordered at the restaurant. There were a lot of pics of Melania, dressed in a simple parka and pants, standing at the Whataburger counter to place her order. It's quite common for politicians and their wives to take full advantage of these types of photo ops. They make VIPs seem more down to earth. We got cows! Founded by a true jack of all trades. More than a hamburger, it's a hamburger. The founder of Whataburger was a fascinating guy. His name was Harmon Dobson, and he was good at so many things, including fast food. He drilled for oil, got involved with shipbuilding, delivered diamonds, and flew planes. A very particular set of skills. Dobson created one of America's most beloved burger joints. He was an adventurous person who always pushed himself to achieve. Today, his burger joint has become an American mainstay. People rely on Whataburger for delicious fast food and a family-friendly atmosphere. Dobson is a great example of a gifted USA entrepreneur who found a way to live out the American dream. This is the American dream in action. Dobson and his co-founder decided to create burgers so hearty that customers would need to hold them with both hands instead of just one. He wanted people to say, What a burger! after taking their very first bites. In 1950, Dobson received a trademark for Whataburger through the Texas office of the Secretary of State. Soon enough, neon Whataburger signs were flashing all over the Lone Star State. And that's a Whataburger! You can customize a burger in 36,864 ways. Hey, Mom! The meatloaf! We want it now! Someone did some sleuthing and figured out that it's possible to customize a Whataburger burger in over 36,000 ways. If you decide to go for a custom burger, you may just get a special sticker on your order. With Whataburger, it's possible to enjoy a different burger every single time if you want to. You won't be limited and you won't get bored. Of course, you may not want that much variety. So how do most customers choose to customize their burgers? Well, asking for triple meat is one filling option. Ma, the meatloaf! If you don't get filled up by the typical single patty hamburger, going for extra patties will make sense. You'll feel more satisfied after your meal. Another option is asking for jalapeno peppers or grilled onions or a bit of extra cheese. By customizing your burger to your exact specifications, you'll get a burger that is perfect for you. Don't tell me what to try. You won't need to compromise on how much meat is in your burger and which toppings are added. Whataburger is proud to offer its customers so many exciting and tasty choices.
It's good. Their ketchups are amazing. Oh, that's enough ketchup. Come on. Yeah. This company's ketchup options get glowing reviews from fast food fans. Whataburger ketchup has become famous because it's really special. Original ketchup is available, as well as spicier versions. It's possible to buy the ketchup in plastic bottles at certain grocery stores in Texas. Look for HEB grocery stores to get your Whataburger ketchup fix. Of course, you'll also be able to enjoy these savory condiments when you order a meal at your preferred Whataburger location. In addition to specialty ketchup products, this fast food chain offers mayo, mustard, and jalapeno ranch products. Some condiments produced by the restaurant are limited time only, sort of like McDonald's special McNugget sauces. And it's delicious! And then they got rid of it, and now it's gone! A Houston Press article revealed that some people actually prefer Whataburger ketchup to Heinz. In particular, Whataburger's spicy ketchup is a huge hit. It adds a little zesty kick to burgers and french fries. If you're a ketchup fan and you haven't sampled ketchup products from this fast food chain, you are missing out. Try them when you can, and then decide if they are better than what you're used to. Boy, oh boy. It's a lot of ketchup there. What a burger isn't affiliated with Whataburger. Whataburger is like a home away from home um, in Texas. Basically, Whataburger is everything. Now it's time for a little brand confusion. There's Whataburger, which we've been discussing in this video. There's also a restaurant called What a Burger. Sure, that sounds exactly the same, but the other What a Burger uses hyphens between the words in its brand name. What does that even mean? Naturally, some people don't realize that the two fast food joints aren't the same. The truth is that the hyphenated Whataburger restaurant is not affiliated with the much larger, non-hyphenated Whataburger. So how did two fast food chains end up with such similar names? This sounds like you actually have something to say. It's only fast food fans in South Carolina and North Carolina who need to worry about this issue. These customers need to know that there are no Whataburger locations in South and North Carolina. We mean the big, popular Whataburger. In North and South Carolina, there are the smaller Whataburger restaurants, which offer different food entirely, even though it's fast food. As long as you're not in South or North Carolina, you won't need to worry about going to the wrong restaurant by mistake. The Whataburger with the hyphens isn't nearly as big of a chain as the Whataburger that most Americans know and love. It's a different restaurant, and customers need to know this before they drop by. Bro, I need something with some hair on his chest, cut. The five-inch bun was invented by Whataburger. Texas traditions. Whataburger is the pioneer of the five-inch bun. This fast food eatery is all about offering hearty burgers to customers, which they need two hands to hold. So it created the five-inch bun first, before being copied by other fast food competitors. To get these burger buns made, management at Whataburger had to hire a Corpus Christi bakery to make them from scratch, according to the fast food chain's larger size specifications. Custom pans were designed for the soft and yummy buns. Burgers from Whataburger have been voted the best in the USA in the past. Customers do appreciate the sizable buns, as well as the plethora of topping options and the ability to choose the number of meat patties that they want. This is a fast food chain that really cares about customer satisfaction. You can't promise something like that. While Whataburger isn't the biggest fast food chain out there, it's very popular because it offers customers the choices that they want and need. From burgers to secret menu item chicken and pancakes to cookies good enough to make it to space and beyond, this restaurant goes the extra mile to offer tasty and hearty food to its clientele. An opportunity to unwind. Stick around and tap that screen to check out one of our other great videos. And if you're here for the first time, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and swat that subscribe button and ding that notification bell.